Righto guys, so real quick video, we're gonna rip out this uh, old batten holder here off the ceiling and we're gonna be replacing it with a brand new down light and show you guys how to do that. So one of the first things you wanna do is uh, check what the cutout of the down light is and get a hole saw to that effect. Right, so this one here, it says on the box, it's a uh, 90mm cutout size and I have got a 92mm hole saw uh, just for an extra bit of room around it so you can slide it in pretty easily. Now the first thing you always want to do is make sure you kill the power to it. So yeah, in this instance, go to the switchboard, turn the main switch off. Righto, so I'll rip this uh, bin holder out. So the uh, bloody painters have obviously painted around it as they always do. Right, next thing you want to do is be careful because it's going to rip some paint. But, uh, get a screwdriver in and, yeah. So that uh, black looking cable there, that's rubber. I don't know if you can see properly. But we try and rewire the, this these days. Uh, if it's sitting there and it's not touched, it's fine. But the more you terminate it and the more you strip bits off it, the rubber just tends to fall off. So I just cut this off of my sideies. Um, as you can see here, that's what happens to rubber. The uh, insulation just falls off everywhere. At the same time, this switch here will need replacing. And you can see the rubber end coming out of it is also deteriorating behind there. So we'll have to add some insulation on that. Next thing, we're going to jump in the uh, roof space and have a look at the surface area above it. Now oh, bugger, there's no light on here. Sweet. <laughs> Rightio, so that there's the rubber, old rubber lighting cable. And we'll see where she goes down. This goes straight down here. So what we can do here, because this isn't structural, is uh, cut the hole saw halfway up, knock it out, throw your light in there. While we're up here, we'll pull this light up, uh, lighting cable up, throw it out of the road. So it's not going to get caught on by the hole saw when you're drilling up. Sweet. Next thing, whack a hole saw up through here. So we've got through the ceiling at the moment. Now we've just got to cut a channel up through this. Uh, probably about 40 odd, 40 to 50 mils. And then we'll just whack it out for hammer or, or whatever. So the downlight's going to fit in there nicely. The other thing to be aware of is asbestos containing material. So... Right, so I've cut right up with the width of the hole saw. What I'm going to do is make this easy for myself. Jump up in the ceiling. Take you guys with me. So now what I'm going to do is just drill across on the old timber here. So as you guys can see from up here, it's drilled straight through like that. Rightio, so we've got our hole here ready for the downlight to go in. Next thing you want to do is grab down the old cable. Now I'm not going to be rewiring this rubber one. Um, further up, it's in okay condition. So as long as we cut the bits off that have uh, deteriorated over time and just use it from further up. With the rubber cable ends, we can't actually tell what end is phase and what's neutral up here because they're exactly the same inner colours. So what we'll do, go to the back of the switch and where the phase, where that switch wire there, the one that's starting to uh, fall apart down the bottom there, uh, that rubber one, we'll go, we'll put our meter onto ohms, throw our meter onto ohms, that symbol there, and then we'll just test between that one 
and one of the cable cores. There we go, zero ohms. That's what we're looking for. That cable there is our phase. And what I'll do is I'll bend that up. It's hard to film without a tripod here at the moment, so apologies about that, guys. That's our neutral. That's our phase. Now we'll hook it into the downlight fitting. Um, this downlight has got a driver on the end of it. So what we'll do, whip that cover off and get rid of this uh, power cord end. So sweet, I've just removed that simply from here. And what we'll do is we'll screw our phase into the L and our neutral into the N. Sweet, so the rubber ends are in here. What I did was take them back a bit to where the rubber wasn't damaged. So the insulation's fine on these. We won't be rewiring it today, but at some stage we will. As you should if you've got rubber cables in your own home. Chuck the cover over the uh, 230 volt ends. Put the transformer up into the ceiling. LED driver. So these clips on the side, what you want to do, Fold them up like that. Make sure that cable's in the ceiling. And then slide the light in like that. All done. Right, so this switch is really bloody uh, hard to push on, but it does work. So if we shove it in there, and she's going. Guys, this is brand new today. Always clean up your bloody mess when you're done. Cheers.